Today, I'll be showing you how to make a lock chest unless you hold shears. Let's get straight into it. So go ahead and start and by saying slash give at s command underscore block and it should give you one command block. Now go ahead and hold crouch or shift and place down two command blocks. Now in this first command block, we are going to be having it on a repeat always active. And we are going to say set block and we are going to have to get coordinates. Also to get your coordinates, make sure to go into settings and go down to where it says show coordinates and make sure that is on. So go ahead and place your chest if you haven't already and stand on top of it. Now you see that second coordinate where it says 70? that you are going to want to add one to. In my case, it's 70, so I have to put 71. So go ahead and go into this block and say your coordinates. So negative 59 and then 71 instead of 70 and 534 for me. And go ahead and say barrier. And that's it for the first block. Now, as you can see, there should be always a barrier block. Now in this second command block, go ahead and put it on a chain always active. And inside of this command block, you're going to say execute at at P bracket has item equals curly bracket location equals slot dot weapon dot main hand comma item equals and then this can be whatever item you want. Make sure if it has an underscore, like a diamond underscore sword, you include that. But for the sake of this video, I'm doing shears. Close that curly bracket and bracket off. Say run set block and the same coordinates as before. So I'm going to do negative 59, 71 and 534 and air. And now, as you can see, I cannot open this chest. And as you can see, there's a barrier block and it will replace itself if it gets break broken. And then if I hold this shears, as you can see, I can now open it. There is no barrier block in the way and I can put whatever secrets lie in this chest. But if I stop holding the shears, then it will replace the barrier block. So how this works is super simple. In this first command block, we have a repeating command block, which repeats since it's always active, it is going forever and ever. It is never stopping. And basically in here, we are setting a block at these coordinates, which is one above the chest since it is at 71 instead of 70, because uh, this is the Y coordinate. And we are setting that with a barrier block, which is basically an invisible block that will stop the player from touching it or going on it. Now in this second, we have it as a chain. So once this first command block is done doing what it's doing, then it will go into here. And this is also always active, so it doesn't need redstone. And it will execute at the nearest player who has the item and it's in the location of their main hand and it's shears. Uh, and then it will run the set block and instead of a barrier, it will delete the barrier and replace it with air so that you can actually get to the chest just like that. That's the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and make sure to check out some of my other videos for more content like this. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.